Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal and I like WoW PvP. I like seeing a variety of different classes and specs compete, primarily in the duels, but also in battlegrounds and arenas. And I feel like variety is a great spice to life. However, not every single spec in the game has been made equal. And in today's video, I want to highlight some of the specs. I'm very hoping the Blizzard does them in 4 in patch 915. We haven't had the most PvP updates, but this is the time to save these very specs that need some PvP help. As usual, if you guys are watching this video, good chance you're not subscribed. Hit the bell, hit subscribe. It helps out the channel tremendously. What are you doing? But anyway, let's dive into the video. Starting off with the Mist River Monks. This is the squishiest healer in the game. And out of all the healers in PvP, it has the least representation. Can monks do well in PvP? Yes. Can they do really well in PvP? Yes, they can. Monk isn't a class that is just completely hampered by his design and cannot possibly reach the highest of heights. It definitely has quite a bit of a skill floor. It takes a little bit of work for someone to pick up a Mr. Monk for PvP and the skill ceiling is also pretty high. However, patch 9.1 threw a bunch of PvP talents at monks, primarily to help them by giving them different tools to play with in terms of PvP talents so they can have more versatility in how they approach different fights, different compositions, how they deal with different classes, and how to keep their team alive. But also, they wanted to improve their survivability. I mean, the materialize was added, there's a way for you to move and teleport while you're stunned, which can give you get you out of really sticky situations, but monks to this day in patch 9.1 are still just really, really squishy. Nothing that Blizzard has done really improved their situation in terms of the PvP talents, and there was a lot of changes that were added. I feel like monks need a bit of help. I am personally surprised with just how squishy they are. There isn't a little bit of this like give and a take system. On one hand, you're squishy. On the other hand, you deal a lot of damage maybe. Monks can do a lot of healing. That's no doubt. They can focus somebody up and just maintain them through all kinds of bursts and all kinds of damage. But it'd be kind of cool if monks themselves came with some sort of damage. I mean, we have Disc Priest that can do damage, Holy Paladins that can do damage, you have Holy Priest that can do quite a lot of damage. It'd be kind of cool if monks maybe, while took a lot of damage, could also dish it out. I think it at least would be fair, because they are one of the squishiest healers in the game to this day. I mean, if a Restoration Druid can lure a rogue behind the pillar, hit him with a maim into a full convoke and burn him down, why can't a monk do something similar? They're supposed to be kind of a healer, but they also have this melee healer playstyle where they are in the melee, hitting the boss, but are a full-blown healer regardless. Giving them some kind of a win condition outside of just, you know, hopefully surviving until the enemy dies uh, would help them out a lot. And maybe allowing them some kind of a playstyle where they can contribute damage to their team, even though they're really short-lived, but at least their damage can contribute in a significant way to this fast-paced meta. The next class on this list that I was really excited that would get some buffs was Unholy Death Knight. They've gotten a few PvP talents, and in fact, I guess you could talk about Death Knights in general are in a little bit of a weird spot because they're kind of broken one of their talents which is spell warden apparently works in pvp even if you don't select it like players can bug it out and it's been like this for a while it hasn't been fixed hasn't been addressed but they, they essentially they're running arenas with four pvp talents while other classes have three and even then unholy death knights are really struggling at times particularly in 2v2s unholy death knight struggles in particular and mostly, I think, because of the survivability. Death Knights are not super tanky. I mean, they wear plate armor, they have IBF, they have AMS, which can be all good. Spell Warden is fantastic against magic damage, but against physical, they can fall over. Unholy Death Knights also were supposed to have a little bit more of the necrotic playstyle, where they can have healing reduction on an enemy, while also, if the enemy gets healed while your dots are on them, you siphon that healing to make your tankier. None of these things really worked out super well. It takes forever to stack up your necrotics and that one talent to siphon healing has an internal cooldown and can work off of hots. So sometimes it'll just heal you for like a, a five, a plus five health. Even if the enemy has, let's say, massive healing getting blasted into them, if there's a healing over time effect on them, that dot will ignore the big heal and will just transfer the small heal to you, which is a little weird. So for Unholy Death Knights, I don't really know what you would buff. I guess you could buff their overall tankiness, or maybe just more damage, but I think the PvP talents is a perfect opportunity to solve the problem. If let's say certain PvP talents stack up a buff or a debuff, make you need less stacks in order to be as effective as Unholy. Sometimes PvP talents give you one benefit, but also give you a negative, kind of like a switcher. But what if for Unholy Death Knights, some of the switcher talents just gave you a benefit, but didn't give you some kind of a negative effect. This way you'll be able to use it in order to just augment your playstyle without any kind of drawback with it. Because let's be honest, I want to see Unholy Death Knights more often, but 
with just how poorly they're doing, they probably don't need more drawbacks. Frostmage is another class I was super excited for. As Frost Mages have been kind of uh, second fiddle to Fire Mages and even Arcane, they kind of been sitting on the side and while there are players that do play them in PvP, their effectiveness has definitely been diminished. Especially if you play TBC where Frost Mages are kind of insane, in comparison to Shadowlands they are a little bit slower in terms of damage. One, they have to cast everything, so you cast the Frost Bolts all the time. Originally Blizzard buffed the damage of those Frost Bolts, but with the PvP talent changes with the nerfs, it basically just kind of uh, closed each other out. It's a net negative increase where I think they wanted to give Frost Mages more PvP towns they could run while also maintaining some semblance of damage. But I honestly feel like for Frost Mages, maybe they just need more damage. Maybe more baseline damage. Because you're a class that needs to cast everything. You can get interrupted by literally anybody. There's so much mobility and so many different interrupts from silences, stuns, disorients, but also kicks from melee. There's so many ways to just stop your damage that it can be pretty daunting. I love the fact that they have this ice wall that they can raise in order to separate enemies. And I love these tools in order to create crowd control on enemies, but I feel like their damage should be a little bit more consistent. Like Shatters, I feel like that's where Blizzard could maybe buff it. A lot of classes have root breaks, so drop an enemy into a Nova, they're usually not going to sit in it, but when you do get that Nova, I feel like the Frost Mages should be rewarded for being able to slow the enemies, being able to get those combos that they are fishing for all the time. Because usually the Frost Mages end up playing a support role where they slow enemies down and try to peel and throw in polymorphs and slows and freezes, but if they actually have some damage where they can be a little bit more menacing while being able to play up to their playstyle where they're constantly fishing for different buffs and debuffs, I think it at least should reward them in some way. Another spec I was super hyped for was Fury Warrior, just to see my Fury brethren out in the battlefield, swinging their axes, their swords, their maces, blasting enemies in AoE carnage. Arms Warriors is still really, really prominent, really strong. I was really hoping Fury Warriors with the Mortal Strike effect were going to be a little more prevalent, but hasn't really happened yet. Don't get me wrong, there are some Fury Warriors that are doing fantastic, but they're not nearly as easy as it is as hopping on an arms warrior and dominating arenas. Fury warriors have to work so much harder than arms warriors with the playstyle. For Fury warriors, I honestly always imagine them as a sustained damage version of an arms warrior. An arms warrior will fly the Necrolord banner colors on their back while empowering themselves with avatar. They'll charge at the enemy with a warbreaker. The charge will do a shockwave of damage as they execute the enemy, chopping them in half with massive, massive burst. Fury Warriors always imagine would be the sustained counterpart of an Arms Warrior where they can do cleave damage to just massacre everybody around them, but they're more about chopping away the enemy slowly but surely with crazy good sustained damage. And maybe that's just something the Fury Warrior would need, competitive damage in PvP. For Fury Warrior, I can't really imagine seeing them get some kind of utility or some kind of unique element to their gameplay that changes how they play. I honestly just think it's a problem of not enough damage because their toolkit seems decent i mean warriors have a pretty good toolkit in general i just think the damage profile is far behind arms warrior and i would really want to see more fury warriors playing it's a very fun play style that's very fast paced that's definitely going to induce carpal tunnel if you're playing it correctly but in terms of how strong arms is and just how little you have to do in order to earn that damage fury warriors have to earn double as hard in order to reach not even nearly as high i feel like it's just criminal but that's going to be the classes that I think really need a buff for maybe potentially 915 in PvP. Blizzard has been doing some adjustments when it comes to PvP talents. Just a few. Just a few. But I'm hoping that in future updates for 915, they'll really do some PvP adjustments. Lots of opportunity that they could take advantage of for the PvP talents of the game or just simply the damage modifiers for classes. They've done a pretty decent job for Outlaw Rogues and I feel like the damage numbers there and the slow, small tunings allow the spec to at least kind of go somewhere we've seen more outlaw rogues in pvp but the frost mages mystery rivers on holies and furies i still feel like a little left behind thank you guys so much for checking out this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below what do you think blizzard could do to fix any of these classes feel free to write me a detailed description in the comments or hit me up on discord link to that down below feel free to join the community thank you all so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see all of you in the next one